Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. It's Saturday. I'm back in Portland again and I'm uh, at OMSI, which is the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. Uh, let's go and check it out. All right, guys, so I've got my ticket. Uh, it's not a bad price, actually. Adult was $18. Parking's five bucks for the day. And then the actual submarine toys at $8.50. So a uh, total of $31.50 is pretty good price, I think. All right, guys, um, just got here and uh, there's already a tour that's starting. So I'm gonna go and see the USS submarine first. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the content, the depths that I go to. Second in command, you've got another stateroom back there. It's got two bunks in it. Yeah. This is our surgical table right here. Why'd you go now? After 30 seconds, the boat goes over and starts down. After three minutes, this depth gauge says 250 feet. You guys can let go. There we go, back to neutral. Oh, by the way, now you're going to sit there and drive for six hours. That's the way we do it. There's a bunch of torpedoes down here over on the starboard side. You see that little green one you're just right next to, but there's a big black one right behind it. Mark 37, Mark 14. Well, this is pretty cool. Uh, the, uh, the guy said that when they shoot out of the submarine, they come out about 45 miles an hour. So, whew, yeah, cause some damage. All right, everybody in a boat that wants to be in a boat, is it a little late to tell you you're facing the wrong direction? Hey mate, I think there's some water in here. I think we might be sinking. First one you're gonna see is at 6 a.m. when we wake you up because you come down here for breakfast. This Breakfast. It goes like this. Is the uh, food substandard? Food is wonderful. Substandard? Substandard. Okay. One guy's a diesel operator. That's you. Today you have some high priced help. One guy's the battery operator. He's standing right there. Those are all the controls for the battery. He's interested in that because we're a battery operated submarine. Right over there. Yeah, this is a great tour uh, for $8.50, but um, if you do suffer with anxiety or claustrophobia or heat, uh, this is probably not for you because uh, it's getting pretty hot here and I want to get outside now. Mind your head. Ooh. I feel like a sausage. 
Ja. All right, guys. Well, that's the, uh, the submarine tour done. Uh, I have to say, for eight dollars fifty, it's about maybe thirty minutes, and uh, you go down about three levels. You get to see the mess hall, uh, the uh, missile room, uh, sleeping bunks, everything, and all the control panels. Uh, I think kids would love it. So for yeah, for eight dollars fifty, it's a pretty good deal. So definitely recommend going and check that out. So the, uh, the actual guide told me there's two floors. Um, downstairs is the, there's an orca, orcas exhibit, and then upstairs is the, um, the dinosaur exhibition. So I'm gonna go and check out the orcas first, and hopefully this will be a while of a time. Well, that's the end of the uh, Orcas exhibition. I'm going to be honest and give a bit of a scathing review here, actually. I'm sorry, Omzi, about this, but, um, you know, you had downstairs, upstairs, you've got about six different rooms, and really all there was was posters on the wall uh, illuminated with inf information about Orcas. And um, there was a couple of TV screens showing Orcas on TV. Now, the information you could have got off Wikipedia, anybody can read that. The YouTube videos you can, you can sorry, you can find uh, uh, orca videos online uh, on YouTube to watch, and uh, all there really was was like big three big plastic orcas in this room hanging from the ceiling, surrounded by uh, LED TV screens to sort of simulate you're swimming underwater with them. But um, that's a lot of big space really to not have much to offer for it, so I'm not that impressed. Uh, anyway, let's carry on upstairs. They have the natural. Science Museum, let's go and uh, see if that can save the day for me. Come on mate, put it away, there's people watching this. Disgraceful. Oh, that's how you get us started. All right, so this is a better exhibition next door to the Orcas exhibition. Uh, this shows the conception of, uh, of life, uh, the start of a baby, and every step, every, every, every week uh, until, until full birth. It's pretty neat, and uh, for somebody that didn't pay attention to this at school, it's kind of nice to catch up now at the age of 47. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, I like this. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of that uh, short exhibition. Um, again, it's okay if you've got children uh, want to play games, but for adults, there's nothing really scientific there of interest for me, but um, yeah, it's worth checking out, I guess. 
All right, guys, uh, we're now entering, this is called Turbine Hall, which actually looks like a playground for adults, which might be more of my liking. So let's go and check this out. Uh, there's a lot of different scientific puzzles to figure out. Uh, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, um, that's it for me today. Uh, the only thing I didn't check out here at the OMSI was uh, the planetarium. They have a theatre here, uh, and I think every hour they have different like laser shows or planetarium videos to show. That might be worth checking out. Um, but besides that, I think if you've got children, it's definitely worth coming. Uh, they've got a lot of different uh, interactive games and puzzles, and they'll definitely be amused. Uh, for adults, uh, wasn't that great to be honest with you. Um, that's just my own personal opinion. But for me, it is definitely worth coming if you want to come and see the submarine. That was that was really interesting. I felt um, I got a great deal of enjoyment out of that. Well, that's it. So until next time, uh, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye bye.